standing temperature control. Temperature control is essential to make sure that we minimize the multiplication of bacteria. By keeping food outside of the temperatures where bacteria multiply, we can reduce the risk of food spoilage and, most importantly, reduce the risk of food poisoning. An important principle in temperature control is called the cold chain. Throughout the entire supply process, the cold chain refers to the fact that food must be maintained at below 5 degrees Celsius, whether it is transported, stored or handled. Remember that 5 degrees Celsius is below the danger zone, so if we keep food at below this temperature, we will really help to stop the multiplication of dangerous bacteria. When the temperature of the ingredient or the food goes above 5 degrees in the storage, transporting or handling, we refer to this as breaking the cold chain. As soon as we break the cold chain, we drastically increase the risk of contamination. Let's have a look at some high-risk foods. As always, you must make sure that high-risk foods are kept chilled at below 5 degrees Celsius or kept hot above 65 degrees Celsius to make sure that they never stay in the danger zone. We now know that the danger zone is between 5 degrees Celsius and 65 degrees Celsius. So, if something is cold, we need to make sure it is stored at 5 degrees Celsius or below. And, if it is hot, it needs to be stored at 65 degrees Celsius or above. It is, however, safe for food to be kept between 5 degrees Celsius and 65 degrees Celsius for a very short period of time. It would be in this danger zone only when we are preparing food or when cooling it down. There are some exceptions to keeping food below 5 degrees Celsius and above 65 degrees Celsius. Food that is on display may be displayed for up to 4 hours, but this 4 hour period includes the time it takes to prepare and pack away the food. Another exception is food that requires ripening or maturing, such as cheese. However, once the process has been completed, these ingredients should be refrigerated. Only bring food out of storage right before you are going to use it and do not leave it lying around at room temperature for long periods of time, as this will break the cold chain. Let's look at foods that don't require temperature control. Some foods can be stored at a room temperature, that is, about 20 degrees Celsius. These are low-risk foods, such as raw, whole fruit and vegetables. However, these foods are stored in chilled conditions to minimize spoilage and prolonging the whole fruit or vegetable's shelf life and quality. Now let's look at frozen foods. Frozen foods should be kept at minus 18 degrees Celsius. You need to ensure that these foods are frozen solid when they are delivered and that they are kept frozen when you store the food when you display the frozen food or transport the frozen food. Minus 18 degrees Celsius is an important temperature to remember. It's so important that you maintain the quality of the frozen product at this temperature. Remember that bacteria don't multiply while frozen, but they can become active again when the product is thawed. When storing food in a freezer, you need to make sure that each food type is stored separately in its own section, such as dairy, meat, poultry and fish, each being stored in their own section of the chiller. Let's look at measuring the temperature of food. 
When measuring the temperature of food, you need to take the core measurement, that is, the temperature in the middle of the food. This is because food can be hot on the outside, but not necessarily hot in the middle. To accurately measure the core temperature, you should use a tip-sensitive thermometer or probe that can be inserted into the food. Remember to clean and disinfect the thermometer before inserting it into the food. Wash the probe in warm water and detergent and then disinfect and dry with a disposable towel. It would be really careless to insert a dirty, bacteria-ridden thermometer into a lovely piece of meat that you are cooking. So make sure it is perfectly disinfected every